So, let's toast me. Who's first? Tom, why don't you come up here and talk about me for a few minutes? Uh, I want to thank the Bluth family for hiring me back. It's been a tough couple years. My brother did that. Talk about me. Oh, okay. Uh, you certainly do love those suits. Well, <laughs> seven grand, you better believe I love them. <laughs> I mean, look, look what you're wearing. You look like crap. I mean, at least this is... Who did this? <laughs> You did this, Tom? No. You're a real smartass. You know that, Tom? Look, I don't know him very well, but Job seems like he'd be a really smart boss. <laughs> Please don't laugh. Look, he, he's a great magician. That's even better. F you, Tom. Please don't. No, you know what? You're fired. No. You're all fired. Each and every one of you. Merry Christmas. I didn't know the lyrics. Where's everybody going? We don't work here anymore. What? Is your sister still around? I did the right thing, Michael. If I don't fire them, how do I teach a lesson to the others? There are no others. You fired everyone. Oh, that's, that, that's, that's great. The guy who's dirty dancing with his niece is going to tell the guy in the $3,600 suit how to run the business. I know. Maybe we're better off with me being business-like and you being the good time, useless party guy. It got us this far? Mm hmm We gotta figure out a way to hire everybody back. A, a party. No, we just had a party. Yeah, but I didn't get to have any fun. And so Michael went to work on another Christmas party, this time with the help of his niece. I really appreciate you doing this. I didn't want to ask George Michael. I mean, you see that he showed up at the party for five minutes last night and left without even saying goodbye? Hey, my mom doesn't even want to be in the same room with me. What? I was almost attacked last night in my own home. I walk in and there's a colored man in my kitchen. Colored? What color was he exactly? Blue. Hello, Lucio. <laughs> yeah, I sent him to your house to keep you safe. Well, he did a terrible job, didn't he? I need someone else, someone better. What about this one? She's got thick arms. Mom, you just need to calm down a little bit. You're so tense. How am I supposed to calm down? Sounds tense. That means she's not getting any from my brother, Oscar. I mean, maybe I should move in with you. And Michael realized he needed to retrieve his Uncle Oscar. How would you like to go on a road trip? No, I want to stay here with her. Let's go. And so the two of them prepared to drive up the coast. OK, you're in charge of the radio, and we're not stopping until we find Uncle Oscar. There he is. My mom is very stressed out, and uh, she needs something that I can't give her. Um, Maybe a little afternoon delight. Oscar thought that Michael was referring to a particular brand of cannabis named Afternoon Delight, a strain famous for slowing behavior. Well, sure. The question is, which way do I try to get it in her? I don't need any details. Maybe I'll put it in her brownie. Hey, 